Okay, we want to talk about implicit differentiation in this video. But first, let's think about explicit differentiation. So for explicit differentiation, we're going to have y on one side by itself. And the other side is just going to have x's, so no y's over on the other side. So to get going on this, this is how we usually think about taking derivatives. All right, on the left-hand side, we can say, well, this is the derivative of y with respect to x, so dy dx, or sometimes we can write that as y prime, just different notation that means the same thing. On the right-hand side, we'll use the power rule for the x squared, so 2x. Um, and then secretly what's going on is we took the derivative of an x with respect to x, so that's going to become a 1. So really that's going to leave us with 2x for that term. The next term we're going to have derivative of e to the x is going to be e to the x. And secretly there's an dx dx. But that makes a 1, so we leave that off as well. So our derivative here, dy dx, is 2x plus e to the x. All right, now let's take a look at an example we're going to implicitly differentiate. You'll notice in this example that we don't have y on one side all by itself from the beginning. All right, there, there's this other term on this side as well. So we could explicitly take the derivative if we were to move that 3x squared to the other side and apply a cube root to both sides. But instead, let's implicitly take this derivative. All right, so one term at a time, we're going to go through this. We're going to take the derivative of y cubed. So as we do that, we're going to go 3y squared. That was a y term, so dy dx, because we're differentiating with respect to x. Minus that next term, power rule, which is going to be 6x to the first power. That was an x, so a dx dx with that. And then on the right-hand side, it's a constant, so its derivative is going to be 0. All right, now, in thinking about simplifying this down, the dx over dx just becomes a 1. So we're going to be left with 3y squared dy dx minus 6x equals 0. Our goal, again, is to solve for the dy over dx. All right, so to do that, let's move that 6x to the other side. So 3y squared dy dx is going to equal 6x, added that to move it to the other side, and to isolate the dy dx we need to divide both sides by that 3y squared. All right, on the left hand side by dividing by that we're going to isolate the dy dx, and that's the goal on this. We can do just a little bit of reducing down on the right hand side with our constants that that's going to reduce to 2x over y squared. So as you can see, a little bit different as far as our solution comes out, that we have both x and y involved in this um, implicit differentiation, but we have isolated the dy dx on one side all by itself. So I hope this helps out. Definitely going to do some more examples and hopefully make it more and more clear as we go.